First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13, the word of God says, He has in the past and is now and will always provide the way out as well. The child of God, he said he had done it in the past and he would do it again. And what the Lord was saying was he was going to make a way out. He was going to make a way of escape. He was going to make a way of escape, dear child of God. The Lord wants you to know today that it doesn't matter those who are contending against you. God will be by your side and he will make sure you are saved. God will be by your side, dear child of God. And he would make sure you are rescued in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those who are contending against you to destroy you, they will not be able to succeed because God will make a way. God will make a way for you in the mighty name of Jesus. They have done everything to pull you down, but dear child of God, they would fail because God will make a way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you hold on to your faith in God, God will continually help you. He will guide you and tell you what to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Have you found yourself in some situation that you are asking the Lord, please come help me. God would help you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, did you make a mistake? Did you make a blunder that is affecting you already? Today God will make a way and God will bring you out in the mighty name of Jesus. Have you been in connection with people you are not supposed to be in connection with and somehow your life is under threat today god will make a way out in the mighty name of jesus christ dear child of god have you stepped on toes yes the toes of some people you are not supposed to step upon and somehow it seems like you are under threat every day yes it seems like your life is in danger today god who is in heaven who said he will make a way out who said he would make a way of escape? Dear child of God, I want to assure you, he would make a way out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That God who arose for his people and showed them the way out. God came through in Exodus and showed his people the way out of bondage. Dear child of God, you may have found yourself in bondage right now, but God will take you up and bring you out to the place of safety in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said he will make a way out. He said he had done it before and he would do it again. It will look like a dream of the night. You see, the word of God says in Psalms 126, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, when God brought them out of bondage, when God helped them to see their liberty, when God made them to have their freedom, you see their testimony was, it was like a dream of the night. That is, they could not have imagined it. Dear child of God, they were not even envisaging it from happening, but God made it happen. There are some things you may have given up hopes in right now. Dear child of God, God will come through for you and he will make a way out for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God in Isaiah 49 verse 7 says, The Lord who takes up Israel's cause, even his only one says to him, O man makes sport of, who is hated by the nations, a servant of rulers. He says, kings will see and get off from their places. He says, chiefs will give worship because of the Lord who keeps faith, even the Holy One of Israel, who has taken you for himself. He says, they have made sport of you. They may have made jest of you. Yes, they may have thought you will not be able to amount to much in life, but the same you the people have not given opportunity to Dear child of God, you'll be so great that kings will come to the brightness of your rising in the mighty name of Jesus. You'll be so great that people, yes, who matter, who want to have connections with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You may have been despised before now, but God will make a way. He will make a way and send you to the place of your relevance in the mighty name of Jesus. He said he had done it before and he will do it again. Dear child of God, whatever way you need the Lord to make today for you to pass through, God will make in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you need a way to your place of enthronement? Do you need a way to the place of your rest, dear child of God? Do you need a way to the place of your announcement? God will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God has said that the path of the just 
is like a shining light. You see, it shines brighter and brighter. You see, on that path you are walking on, God will make a way. You bring His light on that path. And dear child of God, you will see. You will see great and amazing things in the mighty name of Jesus. God is making a way for you. And God is going to say to you, Dear child of God, the God of heaven, the multi-breasted God, will bring you to the place that you are supposed to be in the mighty name of Jesus. All that matters to you, dear child of God, all that I consign to you, God will make happen in the mighty name of Jesus. And those enemy after your soul, they will not be able to destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, it is true that there are many adversaries contending against your soul. They want you destroyed. They want you dead. They want to see that your name is written off. They want to see that you are blotted out. Dear child of God, they want to see that your light is put off but they would wait and wait in vain in the mighty name of Jesus because God will always make a way of escape in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God in Psalms 124 verse 7 says, Our soul has gone free like a bird. It says, Out of the net of those who would take her. It says, The net is broken and we are free, my God. It said, Our soul has escaped. We have gone out free as a bird. God made sure he brought us out of the snare of the followers. He says the snare is broken and we are escaped. Dear child of God, he says the snare is broken and we escaped. God brought us out. God will bring you out alive in the mighty name of Jesus. They may have planned to destroy you, but today God will make sure that snare is broken. God will make sure whatever it is that your captors have been using, to keep you down it shall be broken they may have kept you caged in the mind dear child of god it shall be broken today in the mighty name of jesus they may have kept you caged in your bodies dear child of god it shall be broken in the mighty name of jesus you may have had character issues that made you feel that you are in prison you have been locked up you have not been proud you have not been free today god will ensure that you have your freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. He said our soul is escaped. Dear child of God, whoever has locked your soul up today, God will make sure your soul escapes in the mighty name of Jesus. They may have locked you up in immorality, dear child of God. Today you shall escape in the mighty name of Jesus. They may have locked you up in sin. Today you shall escape in the mighty name of Jesus. They may have locked you up in waywardness. Today you shall escape in the mighty name of Jesus. God, he said he will make a way of escape. He said he will come through for you. God said he would help you. God said he would uphold you. Believe him and so shall it be. He would uphold you and he would ensure that you are free in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, they caught Peter. And before they wanted to carry out their evil act against him, they wanted him dead. But God made sure he sent the angels to rescue him. It was like a dream of the night, just like it was for the people of God, the people of Israel that came out from captivity. And it was like a dream of the night because they couldn't have understood how God did it, but God made it happen. So it was for Peter until he got out. He never knew it was real. He thought he was dreaming. Dear child of God, this is how God will do for you. It will look like a dream, how God will save you. How God will cause you to escape. How God will bring you out. Dear child of God, it will look like a dream. But God will make sure it brings his word to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said we escaped with our lives. Like a bird from a hunter's snare. The snare is broken and we escaped. Dear child of God, today that snare will be broken. In Jesus mighty name. Whatever means it is that the enemies I've trapped your soul. I've kept you encaged. Today that chain shall be broken. That yoke shall be broken off your neck. In the mighty name of Jesus. And you shall be set free. You shall see your redemption. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord had promised to bring you to the place of safety. And so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall testify of the goodness of God. In Jesus mighty name. You shall testify of the favors of God. And those difficulties, those pain, those hardship, those situations that kept you caged, that kept you entrapped, 
today you'll discover it is gone forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It says God, who is the strong Lord, he made a way. He came through in the face of difficulties. He made a way and he helped. So he will make a way for you in the mighty name of Jesus. It says God is faithful. He did it before and he will do it again. He will make a way of escape for you and he will give you reasons to rejoice. He says you will be able to do what is right because God will give you your freedom and your liberty. You have not been able to enjoy your life because you have been trapped, because you have been encaged. But today God will make sure you would enjoy your liberty. You will live your life well with your family. You will live your life well as God had promised for you to enjoy in the mighty name of Jesus. Believe God who said he would do this. You will do this without fail and your mouth shall be filled with testimonies in the mighty name. Of Jesus Christ. Amen. I call it done because it is settled and God has brought you out. Because it is settled and your soul is free. Because it is settled and you will no longer be locked up in that cage that you have been found in for a long time. In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is saying to you today that He will not take away His mercy from you. He's saying to you today that He will not be forced to His fate. You see, God. Had already decreed something that he was going to do and he will not turn back you see god doesn't turn back in his word if he makes a promise dear child of god he does everything to fulfill it if he makes a promise he does everything to keep it he said he will not take away from you his loyal love he says his loving kindness he will not in any way utterly take away from you he said he will not suffer you he will not cause you to be suffered he said he will not allow you to see destruction trust god today the word of god says nevertheless my loving kindness will i not utterly take away from him nor suffer my faithfulness to fail god said he will not suffer his faithfulness to fail psalms 89 verse 33 Dear child of God, faithful is the one who has called you. Faithful is the one who had promised. Faithful is the one who has said is going to do it. And he said, he will bring it to pass. He said, he would make it happen. He said, he would do it in a way that will cause you to rejoice. God is faithful. And he said, he will not take his mercies away from you. You know, the word of God had made us to know in Lamentations 3. That is faithfulness and new every morning. He says, they are new every day. Great is your faithfulness. His mercies are new every day. Great is the faithfulness of God. His grace abounds with you every day. And he says, great is that faithfulness. Today, you will see the love and kindness of God. And he that promise that he will not suffer his faithfulness to fail. He will not fail you in the mighty name of Jesus. He had promised you that you will not be cut off. You will not be cut off to receiving his blessings. And dear child of God, nothing will cut you off in the mighty name of Jesus. He said he will not stop being faithful to you. Dear child of God, God is faithful and he will keep to his word. It is worthy enough for us to give him praises. Because that God who said he is faithful, he would always come through for you. He will never turn back from his promises. And dear child of God, this is how God will cause you to rejoice every day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, but I will not cut off my gracious love from him. Dear child of God, what are those things you think God have cut you away from? Yes, it seems like you have not been enjoying. He said he will not cut you away from. So many things may have been standing in your way. But today I decree and I declare that everything you expect to see from the Lord, you will see in the mighty name of Jesus. Because if he said he will not cut you away from his blessings, if he said he will not cut you away from his gracious love, if he said he will not cut you away from his kind love, if he said he will not cut you away from his protection, dear child of God, if he said he will not cut you away from his mercy, if he said he will not cut you away from you receiving his fullness of blessings, dear child of God, so shall it be he will not cut you away so has it been he has not cut you away and today i pray for you you will receive all the blessings you are supposed to receive in your life and your joy shall be full 
the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter those who are contending against you. You will see the blessings of God in full in the mighty name of Jesus. He will hold you with his righteous cord. Dear child of God, he would hold you with his righteous cord. He said he will not leave you. He said he will not forsake you. This is the promise he made unto you. And then you will see this all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you may have done some things that made you feel that you have been sidelined. Dear child of God, you may have done some things that makes you feel that you are forsaken and despised. But he said he will not despise his own. He said it already, that he will not forsake to do his own good. And dear child of God, I want to assure you, you will see the goodness of God. You will see the blessings of God. You will receive the favors of God all the days of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said he will not fail to do you good. And so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Goodness shall be all around you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will turn to the right. And you will see the goodness of God. Dear child of God, you will turn to the left. And you will see the goodness of God. You will go forward. And you will see the goodness of God. Yes. And God would also be your real reward. In the rear side, you will see the goodness of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, everywhere you turn to, you see the blessings of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So what are those things you are lacking today? God will make sure they are restored back unto you. God will make sure you would have them in plenty. Dear child of God, you would have them full. In the mighty name of Jesus. If he said it, he would always do it. He said his word would not return back unto him void and empty. They will not fall to the ground, dear child of God, until they fulfill the mission at which they were sent. Everything God had promised to do, He will do them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know this day that God has not cut you off from His goodness, from His favor, from His graciousness. And you will see this all around in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In your marriage, you will see the mercies of God. Dear child of God, in your finances, you will see the kindness of God. You will see the graciousness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. God will touch your health. You will see the blessings of God in your health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In your pursuit, dear child of God, the things that I concern to you. He said, he that has begun a good work, he said, is faithful to complete them. He said, he will complete everything that I concern to you, everything that matters to you. Dear child of God, you see the goodness of God, the kindness of God, the graciousness of God. You see it all around your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You'll be so blessed that the people around you would say you are the signature of God's goodness in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you would have experienced the mercies of God so much that people will look at you and use you as a point of reference to pray to God and saying to God, as you have done for this brother, as you have done for this sister, O oh Lord, do for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Because all around, yes, in your life, in everything that I consign to you, in the lives of your children, the mercies of God, the goodness of God, the blessings of God, the kindness of God, your child of God, the graciousness of God, all those things will be overflowing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, the things that people suffer around you, you will not be able to suffer them because you have been exempted, because the mercies of God have located you. You see in Romans 9 verse 15, he said, I will choose to have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. He said, I will show compassion on those I will show compassion. And today, God is saying, I've chosen you to show you my goodness, to show you my compassion to show you my help, to show you my mercy, and so shall it be. You shall enjoy these things in full all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, you would enjoy the blessings of God. You would enjoy the goodness of God. You would enjoy the favor of God. And you say indeed, God, you have been good to me. Dear child of God, that would be your testimony. You say indeed, you have been faithful, O Lord. You say, indeed, you have done me well. In the mighty name of Jesus, these and many more will be your testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the things that were not working in your life, from this day they will begin to work. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
and you say indeed i have been kept by the power of god you say indeed i've seen the working powers of god in my life you say indeed i've seen the hand of god the hand of god has been upon me and everything around my life i've seen upliftment everything around my life had experienced progress everything around my life i've been led to the place of rest that would be your testimony in the mighty name of jesus this will be your testimony dear child of god in the mighty name of jesus and the god who had promised to do you well he will continually do you well in the mighty name of jesus christ all day long you shall be favored all the days of your life on the face of the earth you shall receive the blessings of god in full you shall receive the blessings of god without end in the mighty name of jesus and your mouth shall be filled with testimonies in jesus mighty name amen i call it down because it is settled and it is time for you to testify of the goodness of god of the graciousness of god of the kindness of god of the blessings of god in the land of the living everything everything you know that you can see in god dear child of god you find them visible in your life because the lord god of heaven i promise to bless you in jesus mighty name amen it is well with you beloved God bless you and shalom.